Hi everyone, welcome back to our Smart Slider 3 tutorial here. We are on the third and final slide of our Smart Slider series. So if you have missed the first two, feel free to go ahead and watch those videos. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. So here we have our picture of a canyon wall and it's gonna look pretty nice with some white text that we can add to the photo. So we don't really need to um, blur it at all because it's a pretty, pretty plain background here. It's not too busy. Now, if we wanted to, what something cool that Smart Slider offers is the ability to add a gradient, which I will show you here. So we can turn that on and you can show the direction that you want it to come up from. So let's say we want it to come from the top and we can hit the color button up here and maybe we want to use our Marketing Acuity Blue teal color to create that gradient. And let's see how it looks. As you can see, it really uh, comes in from the bottom there. And depending on the opacity of our image, you can see more or less of it. For this video, we are not going to use the gradient, but let's just um, keep it as is. So from here, we're going to go in and add our really neat uh, layer here, the row layer. So this allows you to put different items on different sides of your slide. Uh, so for this, let's put in an image on one side. We'll drag that and put it in the box. And then also a heading and a button on this side, which are I'm gonna dive into more on this video. Buttons are a very useful tool that all slides should use. Uh, so let's start with our image. We will go here, go into our image library and add this great picture of Anne. There it is, it's quite big. So we'll shrink that down in size a little bit just so it shows on the page. And then we'll switch our heading layer using our toolbox over here that we know how to use so well. We love our, sorry, we love entrepreneurs. Perfect, okay, now that's up there. That looks all nice and stuff. Uh, we like the style. We can make it a little more bold and bump the size up a little bit. And then maybe we'll adjust the line height too. So it's it's a little closer together, it looks a little more sharp and italicize it. And we'll set that in the center of the box as well. We like that, that looks cool. Okay, from there, what we will do is add in our button. So for this, we don't really like that green color. It doesn't fit Marketing Acuity's branding. We like the teal, so we'll go in, we'll use that teal, uh, as well as creating more uh, line difference here between um, these two items. So we will add in some padding. There we go, very nice. And we'll go into our content for our button and we'll let, let's type in learn more. That looks neat. From there, what you want to do is add in the link. So for this one, let's use our homepage, marketingacuity.com. And we'll insert that into the, um, into the button. So when you click on this button, you'll be taken to that page and it gives you the option to also choose the style of our button even further. So perhaps we want to add a border to this. Let's add in a one, or let's add it in two pixel, three pixel border. Show that off a little bit. We can add in a white border. Maybe we want it to be double aligned or dotted. Uh, there's plenty of options here, as you can see. So let's go with groove. That looks neat. Uh, and then it's also spacing, uh, if it's responsive or not, the crop, the position all that neat stuff. Uh, this is a pretty small font on the button, so maybe we'll bump it up to size 19. Looks pretty good there. And we'll close that out. So from here, we now have our button, which takes us to our site, as well as our header, which we customized, and our picture of Anne. Now, this obviously expands pretty far across the slides. So what we'll want to do is add in that padding again. This will allow us to bring the two items close together. Perhaps we want them to all lean on one side. We would push it across that way. For the sake of this video, we'll just pad this side. And then also using, if we click on the box as a whole, this will allow us to 
uh, set the padding of the image and rows button as a whole. So let's bump them in a little closer here and then give Anne's, room, Anne's picture a little more room to breathe. So now we have this excellent looking We Love Entrepreneurs slide with a button to a new site and our rows uh, layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and tune into our next video where I will show you how to insert our slide into a website page. And I'll talk to you soon.